In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your oil filter housing return tube. Let's get started. If you look in the center of your engine bay, you'll see two covers that look like this. This is your secondary fuel filter, so don't touch this. This one in here is your oil filter. Use a 36 millimeter socket and break this free. Oil filter will come with it. And there it is. Now take a T27 Torx bit and slide it down. You'll notice that the tube is bolted on right here with the T27 bolt. Unscrew it. You can use a magnet to help you fish this out of here so it doesn't fall down. And there it is. Now grab it, twist it counterclockwise, and pull it straight up. And there you have it. Take your new one, make sure it lines up with the two tabs that lock it in when you twist it, and then the one that locks in with the bolt. Slide it down. Make sure it drops in all the way. Twist it clockwise to lock it in. Now I put the bolt on the head of my magnet so I can slide it down here and hopefully start it a couple threads with the magnet. Now get your T25 Torx bit and let's tighten it up. Now it's bottomed out. Just make sure it's nice and snug, but don't over tighten it because it is a very small bolt and it's threading into aluminum so things can go wrong very quickly. And make sure no debris made its way in there. Now it's got the oil filter in. Slide it down all the way. Thread it on. And once it bottoms out, we'll torque it. It says it right on the cap, 40 Newton meters. 40 Newton meters converts to 29 and a half foot pounds. That's it right there. It's important to not over tighten it because it's plastic and you don't want to break it. And it's important to not under tighten it because then you will have an oil leak. On the driver's side, next to the coolant overflow, you'll see the yellow dipstick. This is for your engine oil. Pull it out. As I pull it out, I'm gonna wipe it off at the same time. That way it comes out nice and clean. And I wanna show you what to look for. So looking at the dipstick, you'll see that you have the maximum line and the minimum line. Ideally, you'd want your oil level to be right on the maximum line. The oil level of 15 quarts is calculated with the oil filter full. At this point, it is empty. At this point, let's put it back into the dipstick tube, measure the level, all the way down, and now pull it up. Don't wipe it this time, because obviously we want to see what it picked up. Looking at the dipstick right here, you can see the level stops right after the max line. It might be hard to see on camera, but you can see how the uh, light is shining and reflecting off of the oil. It stops right here. So we're good to go. Let's put this back in and start up the engine. At this point, you're clear to start up your engine, take it for a road test, obviously check for leaks, there shouldn't be any, but you never know, and there you have it. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.